안녕하세요. It's Gia. If you like hot and spicy meat dishes, you really like today's recipe. Today we'll be making 매운 돼지갈비찜, which is spicy braised pork ribs. We're using 1.3 kg of pork rib. So I soaked in cold water an hour before and we're going to drain it. The reason why we soaked in cold water is because we want to take the blood out from the pork. Okay, now the second step is in the boiling hot water, we're going to add rice wine and then add the porks in it all at once and then bring it to a boil for about three minutes. And then quickly rinse in cold water to remove the fat and all the bone fragment from the pork bones. Okay, we finished all the preparation to make uh, the pork 돼지 갈비찜. Now we wanna make a broth. This is a white broth that is traditionally made when we're cooking 돼지 갈비찜. So we're going to add the blanched pork to a big pot. Let's put all the meat to a big pot and let's add water to it. So this is one liter of water. So we're not making a soup so just pour water so that it barely covers the meat. And then we want to make an aromatic pouch so that uh, we can flavor the broth. We're going to add, this is ginger, about 20 grams of ginger, lots of garlic. I'm using eight cloves of garlic and black peppercorns. This is one tablespoon. Okay. And green onion or leek to it. Let's add this in water along with pork. Now we're going to bring this to a boil. And then once it's boiling, we're going to reduce the heat and simmer until the meat is fully cooked. Let's skim off a bit. Now reduce the heat to a low and then with the lid on, we want to simmer for 40 minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to make a sauce and cut all the vegetables that goes in here. Start from garlic. Then let's add two tablespoons of cane sugar. And this is gochugaru, Korean chili flakes. And then gochujang. It gives a nice consistency to the sauce. And dark soy sauce. This is 100 milliliter, which is about half cup of soy sauce. And mix well. I like to make a sauce and put it aside for at least 15 minutes. Doing that way makes the sauce much more delicious. Let's cut the vegetables in big bite sizes. Start from onion. Next is carrot. potato and the leek split this in lengthwise and then cut this in um, about one inch or so length okay. mm. looks good we want to make sure if the meat falls off the bone tender. It's fully cooked and as you can see it easily falls apart. Now we want to add the sauce to it along with the vegetables. 
Adding a soy sauce based mixture from the beginning makes the meat tough. That's why we cooked the meat in a broth for 40 minutes. Pull this out from the broth and let's add all the vegetables to it except for the green onion. Potatoes. Now I'm going to higher the heat to a medium and then cook until the vegetables are all fully cooked. Let's cover the lid. Okay, let's check the vegetables. Wow, it looks delicious and spicy. Okay, now ready the heat. The sauce has been reduced a little bit and it's almost done. So almost at the end, we're gonna just add the leek or green onion to it and then mix it. Mm. Yum! Uh, I want to reduce the sauce so I'm, I higher the heat and then cook for another three to five minutes until the sauce is well reduced. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare the bowl for serving. Okay. The sauce has been reduced to almost uh, two-thirds. So, and everything looks fully cooked. Turn off the heat and I can't wait to taste it. Let's plate it. Looks great. This is a great dish that can be shared. Enjoy my recipe. Thank you for watching and we'll meet again. Bye bye.